Plan Your Trip with Ease, Digital Storytelling 2, Project 3 by Aubrey Burkle. Have you ever wanted to go on a vacation but didn't know where to start? My goal is to make trip planning an easy and stress-free process rather than a headache. First, we need to decide where we're going to go. This is one of the hardest steps. Try to think about what you want to experience on your vacation. Would you like to swim in the refreshing ocean, see dolphins and get a tan? Or would you rather bundle up and go ice fishing and see the aurora borealis? Once you have an idea of what you're looking for in a trip, that'll help you narrow down the region and decide on the perfect location. It's good to note that you must keep in mind the distance of the place that you're traveling to. Are you willing to factor in airfare costs? Are you going to be driving? Regardless of the method of transportation, thinking ahead saves you time and money. Try to give yourself ample time to plan out your trip so you don't feel rushed. Once you have a destination in mind, here comes the fun part, picking out the place you'd like to stay. I recommend looking through host housing sites such as Airbnb, VRBO, etc. I have found many hidden gems for amazing prices on these services. You are able to view listings directly within your certain price range and with the desired accommodations, such as if a grill or bath products are included. By finding this out early, you are able to make your stay exactly what you want it to be. After you've decided where you are going, it's time to start preparing for your trip. It's key to start making a list of things you will need. Try to include the things that might be harder to acquire, but easily forgotten. For example, if you've just gotten your nails done, you'll want to bring nail glue. You'll thank me later, trust me. Trying to acquire nail glue from a cabin in the backwoods, Wyoming? Impossible. Attempting to find a blow-up raft in Florida in July? Not happening. By thinking ahead of the small details, you save yourself a lot of worries and headaches in the end. Now it's time to pack for your trip. It's almost time to relax and put all the hustle and bustle of planning behind you. Like I mentioned in the last point, it's key to bring the little things that will help make your trip go smoother, but it's crucial not to overpack. If you're going to be on a plane or taking a trip with other passengers, you're going to have to be wary of how much luggage you bring. Plan your outfits for the trip and don't bring extra clothes. In doing this, you also save yourself the worry of the what to wear dilemma on your trip. Once you start to pack your luggage, you'll want to fold everything nice and neat to maximize space. Putting toiletries and makeup in separate bags helps keep things organized and prevents disasters. Make sure that you remember to bring your ID, passport, money, credit cards, and things of that sort. After you get all of the essentials and oddities out of the way, it's time for your trip. Bon voyage and thank you for watching.